Yo, hello guys, and welcome back again to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how you can actually create a plugin, add a plugin, or remove a plugin, and also how to active a plugin and inactivate a plugin, and much more. So, first of all, please make sure that you are on the dashboard. By going to the dashboard, you have to go to wordpress.com slash WP admin. After that, the page will be looking something around that. So what you'll have to do is here you put your username and here your password, which is pretty simple. Of course, some of you guys don't know how to get this username and password. You will have to create an account in the WordPress website. So create an account, make up sites, and then this page will be uh, open for you. I've made already a video about it, so make sure to check it out before you continue this video. Now, how we can actually make a plugin? You can just click on plugin editor. And from here, uh, okay, we don't have any plugins, so we can add a new plugin. Go to upload a plugin. In here, we can add the new plugin that you have created. Of course, you can choose one of these libraries. You can search for some more thing that you want, popular ones here. You can download whatever you like. And here there is this plugin editor. After you download anything, you can edit it from here. Of course, here you can, for example, let's check something out. Let's install this one. And let's wait a little bit until it's be downloaded. So this one is the Elementor website builder, which will help you guys a lot. So for those who, uh, who are new to uh, to WordPress, please make sure to watch some videos about Elementor because it is really really helpful in building your WordPress website. So now after it will take some time. It will not really take a long time. It will be take like a couple seconds, and it will be ready for us to go. Now we have to click on activate. So after you click on active. Uh, we wait a little bit wait and here it is now if you click on plugin editor i understand in here we'll find all the elementor data here you can change it uh, the app affirmations the input menu you can change whatever you'd like to change in here there's the core admin uh, and like so much so much information in here you can if you are good with programming you will be able to add it, uh, edit that and make it uh, make make it like satisfy your desires yeah guys thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial bye bye